Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's video because I have a series on TikTok where I cut open broken and defective fidgets, and you guys love it. So I wanted to try out a longer version of that for you guys here on YouTube. Now, here is a quick disclaimer. These are all already broken or defective fidgets. That means that they don't work, they came with a hole in them, or the kids here at the playroom broke them. So I'm not cutting into any fidgets that people could use and enjoy. These are already broken fidgets. So without further ado, let's get cutting. I'm a little bit nervous today because I've got like two cameras set up, one so you guys can see me and one so you guys could also see what I'm doing. And this is my first time with this setup, so please be nice. I am definitely doing my best. This is the drawer where I showed you guys last week where I put all of my broken and defective fidgets. And we're just gonna like get into this and see how many we can do. I think there's too many to do all of this in one video, but we're definitely going to um, cut into a few of them. So the first one I'm excited about slash super sad about, let me turn this camera on, is this mesh ball. So I am going to start by removing the mesh. And then this is one of those color changing mesh balls. So let me see where the hole is. So the hole is right there. I think if I block the hole, I can show you guys that it changes colors and it is a very beautiful pastel. I'm excited to cut into it to see what it looks like on the inside. So let's go. Oh, oh my gosh, it is not pastel at all all oh my gosh when you squeeze it it looks so light but look how dark that is on the inside and this is like a slime Ooh, it's very cold it's very wet but as you can see it's not really sticking to me so this is a nice slime i'm really sad about this stress ball but i am very excited to see what it looked like on the inside is that what you guys thought this was gonna look like? Or were you just as surprised as me? Just as, just as, just as surprised as I was. <laughs> oh my God. The next one I'm going to cut open is a slow rising DNA ball. And this one actually has a light inside. This one broke the other day and these get kind of messy. So I'm gonna grab a paper plate to put it on. And we're just going to bust on into this bad boy. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, it is all collecting on the light. Ooh, this one is very slimy, very sticky, very messy, but it does feel really fun. This one is gonna be such a mess to clean up. Oh my gosh, look at my hands, guys. Oh my goodness. And this is the light up. As you can see, that still works, so I think that we could probably repurpose this. It is getting underneath my nails. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to stop filming for a minute so I can go wash my hands. Ah! That definitely made a mess on my table, but it was super fun to cut open. I do have a couple more of those, but I don't think we need to open up any more of that specific type. So let's move into this bag. There's one in here I'm very excited to cut open. I feel bad, but it's this little chick. As you can see, nobody ever got to bring him home because he already had a hole in his head when he came to the store. So we're going to see what is inside this little chick. They have faces like that. I feel extra bad cutting them open, but let's start by removing his body parts. Nope, nothing there. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes, guys. Here you go. <laughs> There's something kind of satisfying about that, but this is like a... Mm, I'm gonna say thicker than a shaving cream. As you can see, I can roll it in a ball, but it is softer and lighter than a Play-Doh. 
It is leaving a little bit of residue on my hand, but nothing too crazy. This one's actually kind of satisfying. Oh, okay, now I'm making a mess. <laughs> I feel like by the end of this, my hands are gonna be so dry from washing them so many times. So the chick was definitely one of the most satisfying because I was able to like squeeze it out. I may or may not be addicted to Dr. Pimple Popper. So I give this one a 10 out of 10. <laughs> The next one we're gonna cut open is this alien brain. It has a hole in it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> right there, as you can see, they're already popping out. I'm very interested to see what's inside this pink one. I cut open a blue one once, but it was kind of um, like dried out, so I'll be interested to see if this one is the same. I feel like I'm doing brain surgery. Oh. <gasps> Okay, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Look at this. I don't know what this is, but I, I hate it. Yeah, this one is definitely one of my least favorites to cut open. I like this section of it, but this is just pure awful. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh. <laughs> no, thank you, no, thank you. It's gonna be a no from me, dog. Okay, so I say I hate it, but I'm still sitting here like playing with it. <laughs> it's time to clean this one up. All right, we are down to the final three fidgets, and we are going to do this Orby, the water bead filled banana. As you can see, a lot of the water beads have already been broken up, and there is a hole right there. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. So we're going to see what is inside. I'm gonna lay down some paper towels because I have cleaned so much. Let's start by cutting off the top. Oh yeah, these water beads are like destroyed. I don't know how that happens. Ooh, these ones are super wet. I wonder if they are more wet because most of them are broken. This is kind of gross, guys. <laughs> These water bead Orby things are definitely a very interesting texture. The final two are actually the same ones. They are these dinosaur eggs, where when you squeeze it, a dinosaur is supposed to pop out the top, but these two have already broken, so we're going to see if we can remove what was inside. <laughs> it's definitely a little nerve wracking. Okay, so it's like a little sack on the inside with some blue water. Now we will cut into this and there should be a little baby. There it is, oh my gosh. Oh, it's attached to the sword. <laughs> it's a little tiny baby Triceratops. Okay, how? Cute is that little guy. And then now let's see what the purple one has in. I didn't really know how these worked until I was able to cut them open, but oh, it's so scary. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What kind of dinosaur is it? It is, oh, it looks like a um, pterodactyl. Okay, these little guys are really cute and I feel like Charlie would be obsessed. So maybe I'll bring them home so he can play with them for like one day in the bathtub. <laughs> and then we've got to get this all cleaned up now. <laughs> all right guys, those are all the fidgets we're going to cut open today. If you guys liked this series though, let me know down in the comments because we didn't even cut into most of them. I still have so many and I'm constantly being gifted and donated broken and destroyed and defective fidgets. So I could definitely do a part two or a part three if you guys are interested in seeing what's inside. Also, let me know which one was your favorite, which one was the most satisfying. I really liked the dinosaur ones because it was so interesting to see 
how they were created and what it looked like on the inside because you don't normally get to see that when you're just playing with the fidget. But if you guys liked this video, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up and if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notifications every time I post, which is normally Fridays at 3.30. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I've already done it at least six times during this video, so it's now your turn. Go wash your hands. Bye guys.